Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, was ultra wide monitors. Discussion came up the other day in my Discord, and it was around uh, if I had any guides on how to deal with an ultra wide, if you want to stream on Twitch or YouTube or whatever your medium may be. Um, and I didn't have one, so I figured I would make one. Um, I went to an ultra wide about three, four years ago now, I think it was. And before I started, I was really concerned. I didn't know what it was going to mean for the stream. I wasn't sure how I would handle it. And in the end, it actually ended up being pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I've done, how I deal with it. We'll talk about some of the things I learned along the way. And hopefully, uh, if you've been thinking about it, this video will help you make the decision to make the jump because an ultra wide, uh, especially a super ultra wide, is an absolutely amazing experience uh, and I can't recommend it enough. So let's hop on in, let's check it out and uh, let's get to it. Before we get started, I figured I'd show y'all like what does it mean when you have an ultra wide and what does it look like on the side of the viewer. So I have a few scenes set up. I actually use these when I stream all the time. So you're gonna get my overlays and all that stuff for Twitch, but it should give you a good idea of what to expect. So the first scene that I'll show is the all the way the super ultra wide. This is a uh, 32 by nine aspect ratio. And how I accomplish this is I actually shrink down the monitor to fit into the 16 by nine aspect ratio box from OBS. And then it basically takes up half your screen because it's 32 by nine instead of 16 by nine. And then it gives me room down here in the bottom to do different kinds of overlays. And so usually this can come in handy. I've done two different cameras. I have a few of them that I run for the stream. Uh, and then I have the, uh, the chat window here in the middle. If you don't have multiple cameras, that's totally fine. You can do your camera and then chat window if you want, or you can do your camera, uh, your notification window or whatever pop-ups. The step down from doing a full 32 by nine, I, do, I usually don't stream in 32 by nine just because a lot of people watch on mobile and on a mobile device only taking up half of a screen of a phone. That's not much. Uh, and so for that, I have a setup for 21 by nine. This is going to be, you know, three quarters of the screen, if you will. Same idea. Cameras are smaller. Uh, things are a little bit more spaced out. Chat's still in the middle. Still have the two cameras. And then on top is the 21 by 9 setup. Now, again, I'm running a 32 by 9 monitor. So if there's something that is on the edge of my screen, I can see it, but chat can't. And that's just kind of something that you got to keep in mind. You may have to turn a little bit further to make sure it's within the screen bounds or, you know, describe it to chat. I've done that a couple times. If I can't really like look in that direction, be like, ah, oh, I see this thing over here. It's off screen. Y'all can't see it or whatever. And then last but not least is going to be an actual 16 by 9 setup. So you can do this as well. And I'll kind of go through these, how all of these are set up here in, in just a minute. Now, when you run it this way, this gives you a normal stream look. No one has any idea if they roll into your stream that you're running a ultra wide monitor because they are seeing a 16 by nine picture. Now, a couple things to keep in mind when uh, doing this. And, and the reason I'm playing Star Citizen is because it's one of the games that actually has uh, support for UI scaling. So let me show you what that means. Okay, so I'm back in 21 by nine view. Uh, I've got my screen set up obviously. And as we can see here on the, the game above me, there's a few UI elements that are missing. You guys can't see chat. You can't see the temperature HUD in the, in the bottom left. And you can't see any of my uh, tracked objectives screen and I don't have any right now. Some games, and this is actually pretty clutch, will have a setting and, and Star Citizen does. Star Citizen under graphics and you can go to UI aspect modifier. Now on the left hand side of the screen, you can see global chat In the bottom left, you can see the temperature. If I had objectives and stuff on the right side of the screen, you can still see some UI bits now that you couldn't see before. So that's how, you know, I would set this up for a 21 uh, by nine screen. And even like when I'm in the full 32, I typically always leave my UI in a little bit anyway. One, it's kind of easier to see. And two, it gives me the freedom to hop back and forth without chat having to worry about like, hey, we can't see your UI. We don't know what's going on. There aren't a whole lot of games that do support the UI aspect modifier, if you will. Some games do though, so definitely check out the game that you're playing. When I was playing uh, Valheim, you know, I had to download a mod and that let me kind of pull the UI in a little bit as well. And so there, there are little workarounds that you can do if you really want to make sure that your UI is centered. But that's just kind of one of the things to know what you're getting into. If a game that you play a lot doesn't support that and your UI is on the edge of the screen, then chat may be missing out. That's kind of like, you know, the, the, the multiple layouts that you can kind of have, the things that you can support what you're looking at and, and how your stream may look on an ultra wide. Now, in terms of how I set this up here and what I do for my overlays and stuff, let's hop into OBS and, and we'll check that out next. 
All right, so let's start with a basic 16 by nine setup. And what I do for this is I actually take my main display. I do display capture instead of window capture on this. And I actually will scale it, if you will, and center it into the picture. So basically the outside borders of the screen are just off of the canvas for OBS. It catches everything that's gonna be in the middle of the canvas and it works out pretty well. This is really simple when you do it this way, if you just run a normal 16 by nine, because then you've got your camera overlay and whatever other overlays you may wanna have on there, works out really well. So the 16 by nine setup is pretty basic. Literally it, you just kinda hide the rest of it by, by scaling it off the screen and, and letting it ride. And uh, now let's take a look at 21 by nine. So here is the 21 by nine setup. What I'm doing with the actual display is very similar to what I'm doing on the 16 by nine. I'm still capturing my main display. It's scaled slightly smaller. This allows more width to fit on the top third of the screen. And then down here underneath, that's where I have my camera overlay and I've got chat and then my other camera as well. Now, what I do find when running a overlay like this, I actually run a video background. You can kind of see a little bit of movement, a little bit of movement back there. And I feel like running a movie in the background is better. I just turned it off than just having like a very static blank background, whether it's solid color or whatever it may be. And so on the overlay itself what i've done is there is a opacity mask essentially on this side all the way around and so this gives just a little bit of movement that is you know behind what's going on it just keeps things kind of moving a little bit we've got my main camera chats in the middle here i'll spam chat a little bit there we go so chats in the middle uh, which is nice because then someone who's watching the stream if they go full screen they can still read chat they don't need to worry about keeping chat open and then up top we've got the the stream coming in at 21 by 9 and then if we go up to 32 by 9 honestly it's just you know more of the same let's check it out and here's 32 by 9 so i get bigger chat gets bigger the other camera gets bigger as well and the main reason for this is just because since we're trying to fit the entire display, which we can see right here now. It's the, the whole display is up there. Chat is a bit taller as well, so you can kind of really let that go up. I, I do a, a, a gradient fade on the top of the chat. This way it just kind of, you know, floats off into oblivion uh, when people are, are typing. And yeah, I mean, it works out really, really well. So this is uh, my setup for when I want to run uh, the stream in a 32 by nine aspect ratio. Uh, again, like I mentioned, I don't do this very often. Uh, because it's really hard to see text as you can tell is extremely small on the screen but in general it's honestly not too bad 21 by 9 is my typical go-to and if you have a monitor basically anything that's a 1340 by 1440 that's going to be a 21 by 9 display and if you're using a 21 by 9 display then you're not going to have this big overlay like i have the only reason i have this is because i'm using a super ultra wide which is the 32 by 9 aspect ratio which is going to be 51 by 20 by 1440 or i can't remember the resolution off the top of my head but basically two 4k panels slap next to one another would be the the resolution with that being said let's chat about some of the kind of highs and the lows and um we'll take a look at some other uh, utilities that i've used all right so as i mentioned before there are a couple downsides to rocking an ultra wide when you're going to go ahead and stream one the text in games does tend to get a bit smaller the other side of it though is when you are running a uh, 32 by 9 and even 21 by 9 aspect ratio for your video you're actually having your encoder re-encode a lot less every single frame because the bottom quarter or the bottom half of your screen or yeah the bottom quarter or the bottom half of your screen it's not changing a whole lot and so it can actually lead to a bit higher quality of a stream because you're not having to refresh the entire screen when there's a lot of movement going on which is pretty nice so i have noticed that you know when i stream my stream quality did come up a little bit just because i'm not asking the encoder to deal with that so that's actually a pretty big plus as well so i think the biggest downside is text if your viewers don't really care about that if they're not usually reading what's on screen it doesn't really apply to you and one of the biggest pluses is the fact that you know it's easier on the encoder and you get a higher quality stream the other side of it is you know i've gotten a lot of compliments and a lot of comments just in like oh hey wow this is you know this is ultra wide or this is a different aspect ratio this looks unique and as it is these days anything you can do to stand out is in my opinion plus so yeah so those are kind of like the, the the pros and the cons from what i've seen from ultra wide what else is there from a OBS side of things, there isn't a whole lot of custom setup, to be honest, aside from the overlays that I showed you. My uh, video settings are 1920 by 1080. 
The output is set to 16 by nine canvas. My bit rate is the normal 8250, I think is what I have it set up as. Maybe it's 8200 even, because I run a 320 bit audio rate. Uh, so that gives me just a, the little bit of headroom that I have, but there's nothing else in, in OBS that's super crazy for the ultra wide. It just kind of works really well, to be completely honest with you. Now, when it comes to utilities, uh, we can take a quick look at one of my favorite utilities. Uh, this is Microsoft Power Toys. It's kind of a kind of a weird name, to be honest with you. But here, let's see Power Toys. This is a Microsoft application. So what this does is this gives you access to Fancy Zones. Fancy Zones is a really cool utility for ultra wide users where if you hold down shift and drag, you can set up these predetermined windows to have stuff snap to. So when you're trying to do stuff, you can set up these predetermined grids. And to do that, there is a shortcut key. I'm going to close this and it's a uh, Windows Shift tilde. And now uh, this is my Fancy Zones editor. And so this is pretty dope. I've got a few different layouts in here that I can use. So if I really wanted to, this is actually what I use for my side monitor. This custom layout one and then custom layout two. You can come in here and you can edit. There we go, this way you can read it. So we can come in here, we can edit this and it's actually pretty nice because you can, you can go ahead and you can split. You can kind of put these up however you want, which is super dope. You can easily shift and drag them back together and merge them, which is awesome. Uh, so it's a really good utility. As you can see here, we've got the center bit set to 2560 by 1440. And it just works out really, really well. I'll have links to these things in the description down below. But um, the uh, Power Toys and the Fancy Zones are just absolute god tier uh, applications if you're running an ultra wide monitor. And I highly recommend them if you're going to take the take the plunge. All of that said, after four or five years of running an ultra wide, I started with a 21 by nine Samsung G5. I'm now on the 49 inch 32 by nine Samsung G9. Would I do it again? 100% absolutely. These monitors are exceptional. Uh, I use them for work. I have them in spreadsheets all the time. It's really nice having so much of a, a monitor to work with it's sitting right in front of you all on one screen. It's great for games like base sims like Star Citizen or racing games or anything where you're in a cockpit because it's a lot more immersive. And at the end of the day, streaming on Twitch isn't that difficult with an ultra wide. You can make it look like a normal 16 by nine and no one will notice aside from maybe the UI not being there. Or you can run it all the way up to a 32 by nine if you want to do some unique overlays. So if you have any questions on this, if you have any comments, if there's anything else you would like to see, anything you would want to see in a follow up video, please drop a comment below. Uh, like, subscribe, all that crap. But uh, thank you so much for hanging out today. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. There goes nothing.